Schedules worked up, worked out well. You have you have a real kind of natural uh, vibe together. It seems because what you do seems mm. quite, quite structured and, and complicated and uh, arranged very carefully. Mm. And it seemed it seemed really natural what he was doing. You know, that like to, to, to naturally mesh very well. So. Mm. It's great to see. He's a fantastic drummer. Yeah, he's great. Oh, we got you. Um, we got you a little gift. Oh. For. Uh, Cause you passed me that bag. Yeah. Um, for coming over, just thinking about listening to your record again and, and uh, thinking of what you might like. So this is for me and Una. Oh. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> this is beautiful colors. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> it's from the 1950s. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, there's a little card in here. It says butterfly, but we pretend it's a dragonfly. <laughs> <laughs> Same spirit. Yeah. Same general theme. Um, so are you camping? No, I uh, actually am staying with Binzer. Okay, cool. He's got this amazing little house that um, is probably 150, at least 150 years old, and it's what? in an old train. Um, Near like here. a not a station, but like where station old train been. people used to live. It's you know, it's like it's, it's his house. Really cool. Mm -hmm. cool. Is it is it near here in Strat Valley? It's in Dublin. Oh, yeah. Cool. And the kids as well. Yeah. They're so cute. Right. <laughs> So they're not down for the best of them, no. Yeah, they didn't bring them. Okay. <laughs> Tomo, do you remember Tomo? Um, mm -hmm. he's uh, his kids are here as well. Oh, are they? I love, I love the babies, the best ones, wide eyed, uh -huh. happy so faces. Cute. Yeah, all seem to be distracted I'm enough to, to have the best time ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> distracted from what my father did. <laughs> I was at the Green Man Festival in Wales, and they had tons of kids there, and it was so muddy. It was muddy, muddy, muddy everywhere, and the kids were just having a great time, and the, you know, playing in the mud, and the adults were like, "We hate the mud." But the kids like really knew what to do with the mud. Yeah, and big proper and like, use of the mud. We know what wellies are for. Or the no was wellies as well. I look at the you know, in Glasgow, and you see the children just in a t-shirt. <laughs> Raggedy shorts rolling around barefoot. Just uh -huh. mud up to <laughs> their, their armpits. The gig went really well, it was brilliant. Oh, Did thank you. Enjoy? you. Um. <laughs> Do you need slagging off something because. Uh... Oh, are we taping? <laughs> <laughs> Are we like having this real come? <laughs> is this um? Ed this is for real. Okay, right. <laughs> and then I will come up with a different answer. Let's start again. <laughs> Did you well, enjoy the gig? <laughs> it was only massive. Hot drop. Uh, I'm all right for the moment, thanks. Take a hot drop. Yeah, let's and the try. gig in Wheelands the last time was really special. Incredible. Oh, thank There's you. such a lot of sound Amazing. for. I, I mean, in Wheelands, when you, it was just you and electric guitar and your voice on a pump piano, you know, the, yeah. the, the amount of, of space the, the noise takes up is it's massive. Mm. Mm. The, the, just you and a guitar fills fill such a massive room. It's just amazing. Your and bass player is brilliant. Is that Nate, is that his name? There's not many bass players that could pull off Nate. those moves. Yeah. It's brilliant. <laughs> Just throw some great shapes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's especially for a freak out. Yeah. <laughs> what a song. It's it's such a cool song. Workhorse. Was there any moshing? We couldn't see up the front right whether people were They were jumping at least, yeah. <laughs> no better song to jump to. 
Uh, and what have you been doing? Have you been? Are you doing like a, a second album? Or? Yeah, um, I was in. Uh, what have I been doing? Two weeks ago, I guess I was in Berlin. No, no, no. It was last week. It's all <laughs> running together. Um, last week I was in Berlin, actually recording with Earl Harvin, who, okay. who we both know. Um, and so we got all the drum tracks finished for the next record, and then. I went home and actually recorded vocals on the chamber music album for Clogs. What? So that was really fun because I went straight from doing rock to doing a much more classical kind of thing. Right. And then came, we finished that on Wednesday and then flew here on Thursday. So it's been okay. a little bit of a whirlwind, but that's pretty. And where do you live job. in New York then? I live in Brooklyn. ask you actually the, your voice I mean you're very such a unique way of, of singing and, and phrasing things and, and do you think that your your classical training kind of brought that to bear a bit or, or was it did, were you attracted to the classical or to the opera because of how you naturally sing how you naturally mm. so precise and, and just big <laughs> mm. I think the um, maybe I, I went to opera because that's the only thing that as a young person that's the only thing that I thought you could study and I loved classical music and I loved singing opera but I don't you know as a 17 18 year old I kind of I didn't know I think if I had it to do over maybe I would have gone for composition or something else but um, that's not true. I don't. I I'm glad I went for opera, <laughs> but but I think the difference between operatic singing and pop singing, or whatever you want to call this, is that um, opera singing is constantly on the voice. Like it's you're constantly connecting the breath to the sound. Where in order to fill up a big room, you've got to keep the voice going constantly. Where when you're using a microphone. It's much more spoken and talky, you know. Even if you listen to some of the old singers like Bessie, um, Bessie Smith, and kind of those pre-microphone singers, you notice how loud they're having to project, and they're just really going for it. And I think that 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 the microphone actually allowed more spoken, softer, talky. Um, kinds of singing. Exactly, exactly. Because I tried to do opera as well, but I was just too quiet. <laughs> Were you? Yeah, I loved the music and I really I studied it when I was in school and everyone else was into you know, Nirvana and everything and I was such a nerd being well it was just <laughs> loved it, loved it, and that was all I kind of listened to and just sang away in my room. Uh, but I was just too quiet. Mm. I could never get that sort of projection that I needed. And then what I discovered a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that about you. Yeah, I did. I, did. I really wanted a few auditions and things. Uh -huh. and, um, and they said, oh, you're a bit young, and you know, we may be. My favorite singer, well, one of them is Barbara Bonney, and she has actually quite a small voice as well. And but but it's so light that it's it's like a little bird, you know. And she does light, you know, a lot of light repertoire, but it's not a huge because my voice actually for operatic standards is also quite small. Mm -hmm. um, so, but I I like that. I like the singers that. The more color to her, yeah. as opposed to Wagner. <laughs> 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 Although nice outfits. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you off to next? Are you going to festival, are you festival hopping at the moment? Yes, uh, I fly to New York tomorrow and then to Seattle on Monday morning and then play bumper shoot festival in Seattle mm. on Monday night. So it's a little really? crazy. And uh, then come straight home and end up writing a bunch of string arrangements 
for a recording session that I have next Sunday. So I'm like going to be scrambling to write a whole bunch of arrangements. Do you do all your yeah. own arrangements? I have um, thus far, yeah. Okay. I have you work them out on, on a computer or just write them out of your head? Or? Write them, yeah. I'm kind of archaic in the way that I do it. I'm still very... I hear Radiohead. It's this band <laughs> called Radio Dread who do dub versions of whole albums and they're doing OK Computer as like... Oh, wow! Yeah. <laughs> like, wait a second, are play you? from start to finish. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see, what was it? Yes, archaic. I'm ar still archaic in the way that I write the arrangements. I try to, you know, ideally you get them straight out of your head and you want the technology that you're using to just facilitate what's in your mind. So I figure that the mind is actually the most musical instrument because sometimes what your brain can imagine, imagination is so much greater than the fingers in my case or <laughs> um, the voice or whatever, whatever it is. So if you can get to the imagination, then I feel like that's where you can really expand as an arranger. So, so you can picture the, the song in your head and then try and get that onto paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I spend a lot of time in silence, just sitting wow. and kind of trying to picture and imagine what I want and then wow. struggling to get that, you know, clunking notes and then... And is that really difficult to, sometimes then? You know, the first hour is torture and then once you get in the it's zone with it, you're like... Pfft. So do you write a, as an arrangement in one go, in one sweep? try, yeah. yeah. It takes so long. So are you, you're rehearsing for the next record, is it? Yeah. Okay. And are you doing it with the same band, the same group of people? Pretty much um, most of the same people. I'm bringing in a bassoon player and a marimba player from Clogs. They're the, the band I was working with last week. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll see if I can bring in some other hoodlums. <laughs> Random people off the street. Yeah. <laughs> Bang on a can. <laughs> uh, is there much difference between Irish audiences and, and other audiences or anywhere? Are we brilliant? Is what I'm trying to say. Do, have, you had, have you noticed anything? Yeah, a lot of times you can really feel differences in the way that people people listen, the kind of attention. Some some people, some cities you go to, and people are crazy, and yeah. but. They're loud, but they're just expressing their affection actually for the music, and, right. um, and then other audiences are very, very quiet and seemingly non-responsive. Yeah. But it actually doesn't doesn't it's mean. Been, I noticed that in um, yeah. in Amsterdam at a Wilco gig we were at, uh, the difference between the Irish gig and the the Dutch gig was like that people were just really quiet and kind of applauded nicely, whereas the other people were like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's all the it's beer. All <laughs> 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 There's a car relating there. It's so quite lively. <laughs> <laughs> but that expressiveness, you know, you just have to take it as like, they're enjoying themselves. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. I love the setup. Yeah, I really know, nice it's beautiful. Luna didn't, it just brought her bowler hand and not realize. No, clean enough. <laughs> you are kidding me. Hair. You didn't know? No, I didn't know. Well, I just, I brought it because, um, because uh, I just need something to cover up my camping hair. Uh-huh. Uh, and when I came in, it just suited the set perfectly. <laughs> it just looks like I am part of the lampshade. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. You are the light bulb. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was gonna ask, I don't know if you want to, uh, but I was looking around YouTube at, at stuff, you know, live gigs and that kind of thing, um, and I noticed you do a cover of Use Me, which is just one of the best songs It's ever. one of the sexiest songs ever written. It's so <laughs> brilliant, it's so brilliant. Um, and uh, our friend Sally, we often sing to the parties as well, and we'll all be drunkenly sitting around and I'll sort of hum the bass line and she'll sing it. <laughs> you know, you know the bass line? 
well yeah it doesn't really change <laughs> it's just sort of there and then it goes away and then it comes back in yeah again, yeah so. yeah exactly <laughs> so i think i think i know the baseline okay you can just kick me if i'm in or out all right place. do you want to do you want to do something For sure let's do it i'll be your own okay you can snap Okay, you can, can be on snapping duty. I probably am capable of that either. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long night. I mean, weekend. Well, yeah. we'll, we'll all snap. Maybe we'll all snap. <laughs> 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 we'll be like... <laughs> <laughs> If it feels this good to get used, you better keep on using me until you use me up. Da, 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 da. Cover band. <laughs> oh yeah, perfect. He made that record in like two hours or something like that, didn't he? Well, there's the live in Carnegie Hall record that's unbelievably not a live recording. I mean, yeah. it is, but that's where he does the longest note ever recorded, I think, in Lovely Day. Oh. And he sings Lovely Day, and he just holds it until Christmas. It's unbelievable. Until Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and he just his voice. Yeah. I heard it several times and you just hear the only way you'd know it was a live recording is the clapping. It just it's yeah. unbelievable. It's so beautiful. Well they they uh, they went straight to tape back in that day. They didn't cut and paste and glue and kite fly in. Or auto tune. No auto tuning, <laughs> no beat detective, no yeah. when was it recorded? Uh, it must have been sixties or no, it was the 70s old. too. I'm not sure. I can't remember. It, it, so have you got to check out the festival? Oh. I've been working today. <laughs> but yeah, to now, now I'm going to go check out some music. Such a cool festival. It's yeah. so, it's so the well nicest up. festival now. It's brilliant. We've come every year since the beginning. Yeah. And have always had the best, you know, we all take off a week. Mm -hmm. and go and think about the Recovery picnic, time. get the costumes together. Not really a full costume, we didn't want to frighten anybody. <laughs> <laughs> you know, walking I was around in a bear suit. In a, in a, well, and baby grown last night, baby grown wellies. Nice. A baby girl with giant frogs on it. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's, it's just so, so nicely nice. done, the festival. Like There's really nice art installations everywhere you can mm -hmm. check out. And tents are all nice. I've got my uh, Ferris wheel ticket, so I'm going to go ride the Ferris. The yeah. carousel as well. Chair of planes, my personal favourite. Chair of planes. I love the chair of planes. I do the Ferris wheel tonight. And if you get a chance, uh, head into the body and soul. Just such a beautiful area, so much care taken. Sand sculptures, permaculture, instructional areas, gardens. So cool. There's like a, a dip in the ground, that's the stage. Like kind of a bowl. And there's a wooden structure, structure that took six weeks to build the stage. And a little wooden sound desk, it's brilliant. Lots of muddy children running around as well, <laughs> in fairy wings. <laughs> just what you want to depress them. <laughs> and are you just having a really nice um, summer? 
doing festivals and it's been so great yeah cool. we played um went to brazil and spain for the first time i've never been to wow. either of those countries so that's really cool. really nice and then we played several other festivals in europe and how did it go down really in brazil great. that was awesome Brilliant. it was really good it was this neat festival that was films all throughout the day and then kind of one band at night wow. so everyone came out and <laughs> into the lights of the, <laughs> That's the stage great. and we're ready to dance and party, so it's fun. I'd say in Brazil there'd be a lot of readiness for dancing and partying mm -hmm. at all times. Yeah. yeah. Always prepared. Be prepared. Always prepared to boogie. Yeah. You're quite like that as well. You'd get on well in Brazil. Always, always uh, <laughs> at phone stations. At phone stations. <laughs> who, who needs the drunken dancer now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I should can. we head back out? Party? Should we go back into, sure. the, into the world and see what we can <laughs> see? Back into the world. Do some partying and dancing ourselves. Let's have a look at our little, our little thingies. I'm going to go see Spilly Walker, a friend of ours, is playing nearby, sort of now. Oh, there's so much on. There's so much on. Did you get one of these jobbies? No, I just have the big one. Oh, M I A too. Yeah, she's Yeah. Oh, I think so that's on now, on. or is it over? Electric Arena, it's on five. Oh, it's on the same time as five, six. Benny Walker. I think they're just right close to each other, so we can nip between the two. Cool. Okay. Cool. Cool. Get one of these I haven't ones. eaten yet today, so I might pie minister. <laughs> Go get some There's a really, really nice pie shop. <laughs> Go to pie minister. <laughs> 